हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई शेयर कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू डेटा एनालिटिक्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन इंपॉर्टेंट डेक्स बेस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन आई हैव पिक्ड अप फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट पाव बी एंड फैब्रिक कम्युनिटी सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट yesterday is ending balance as next day beginning balance so we have to create a dax that will show the yesterday is ending balance as next day beginning balance so if i make you understand so suppose uh, this is my data set where i'm having transaction date total receipt total payment and one column for ending balance okay so uh, the question is that uh, we have to uh, create a dax measure like this like i have created already and the value is showing currently uh with the help of slicer selection so this slicer is coming from the transaction date from my table and uh the question is that uh, suppose uh i have picked up 23rd of june so the ending balance for 23rd of june is this value so it should become the starting balance for 24th of june right so suppose here i select 23rd of june so you can clearly see that it the 23rd of june so uh the starting balance for 23rd of june is uh, showing the ending balance of the previous date which is 30 may right one more example if i give you so uh, suppose i have selected 15 july so it means that it is a starting balance for 15 july but it is an ending balance for 2nd of july if i show you in data so you can clearly see that i uh, for 15 july uh, the starting balance is of 2nd of july because it was the ending balance for 2nd of july right so this we have to create okay one of the uh, limitation i can show you uh, i can uh, tell you that we cannot use time intelligence function in this particular scenario like previous day or we can't go back to the previous uh, date because the dates are not consistent over here and we can only use time intelligence function on a column where we have consistent set of dates where the dates are one by one like uh, the dates should not miss that's why we always prefer to use date table and connect it to our table and then we uh, use date tables date column in our time uh, in our time intelligence uh, functions but here that is not the case you can clearly see that the dates are not continuous we have uh, 29 may 30 may and then we have directly 23rd of june right so you can clearly see that the dates are not continuous so here we have to follow some different approach okay guys so let's start building our measure i would go here and create a new measure and let's name this measure as starting balance answer so here what i will do i would first catch up what is my current selection what is the currently selected date so i will declare a variable and here i will make use of a uh, selected value function right so it will pick the currently selected date in a slicer so i would name this variable as selected date and i can easily make use of selected value function this is a straight forward function in a column whatever the value is selected it returns that so here i will pass data transaction date because this date i am using in my slicer so if i show you what does it return so i will going to return this variable and let's check i will drag this in a card okay so you can clearly see that if my uh, like in slice sorry 15 july is selected so it is giving me 15 july if 2 july is selected it is giving me 2nd of july if 1 july is selected it is giving me the value accordingly okay so i have picked up what is my current selection right and now in this variable i would pick up the date before the current selection like the available date so here 1st of july is selected right now so i would declare like i would try to calculate that uh, this uh, date should give me uh, 30 june anyhow right so i will declare variable and let's name this variable as previous available date okay so here i will make use of calculate function and i have to find out date right so i will make use of max of transaction date don't worry i will explain the whole code you with the data and in the filter argument what i can pass that the transaction date should be less than the selected date 
okay so what it will do let me tell you I am gonna return the previous available date okay so you can clearly see that uh, if 1 July selected it is giving me 30 June right if 30 June is selected it is giving me the previous available date which is 27 of June okay now I can start building my measure further I would gonna make use of return statement over here and I have not here like I'm not I'm not to find out the previous available date but the ending balance of that uh, previous available date right so I will again make use of a calculate function and here I can write that I have to find out the ending balance but the transaction date should be equal to the previous available date that's it I'm gonna commit to the measure and let's format this to none now you can clearly see that for 30 of June it is giving me the ending balance of 27 of June which is the starting balance of 30 June right if I show you in data so for 30 June the starting balance would become this value which is minus 1196 like that so it is giving me the correct result and let me tell you how with the help of data let's try to understand how our measure is getting calculated so uh, the current selection is 30 of June so here let's comment here 30 June is stored right in the selected date variable 30 June is stored and then it will uh, filter the data table when it will evaluate this particular variable so first the calculate will filter this is the filter argument of uh, like filter argument of the calculate function so in uh, it will filter out the transaction date and it will pick all the transaction date which is less than the selected date so selected date is 30 June right so if in data I show you uh, yes this is my selected date if I am not wrong yes 30 June so what calculate will do here I have told calculate that first filter out the data like all the transaction date which is less than the selected date so all the transaction date which is less than 30 June this will be stored here in the filter argument right so if I show you all this data all this date is less than 30 June right so let's format then let's yeah and now what so this this whole date this whole table would be passed in the filter argument of the calculate here right and then out of those dates it will pick the maximum date so what is the maximum date which is 27 of June so this would become my maximum date and in previous date this is how previous available date variable this is how the uh, this date is getting stored so in our current uh, scenario for this variable 27 June would be selected and then it would come to the return variable right so I am telling that uh, first filter out the transaction date where uh, the transaction date is equal to previous available date so here previous available date is 27 of June so it will go here and it will filter out the transaction date and where the transaction date should be equal to the previously available date so this whole row right this whole row would be stored and then here I am just having one row and then calculate will pick up the max of ending balance right so max of ending balance so I'm only having one row so the max of ending balance this would become my answer uh, yes so this would become my answer so if I select 30 June this is how I'm getting the value of uh, 27 June ending balance which is now the starting balance of 30 June so that's how this is getting calculated so yes guys that's all about this particular video if you are having any kind of doubts please do let me know into the comment section and if you know any other solution to uh, this particular problem so also drop your solution into the comment section if you like my video so please uh, subscribe to the youtube channel and share it with others